There are many fine home studios, and this is one of them. Welcome to the Strain Box. I did this whole video trying to show off this free protoverb plugin, and I had recorded the audio wrong. No biggie. I started following musicradar.com on the Facebooks, and they made a post on the Facebooks about a free plugin called Protoverb by U A G U He U He U He something I don't know, um, and which is here on the U He U H E website, which stands for Urs Heckman. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Um, but this is a free reverb plugin that is experimental. They want you to play with these random codes uh, in the plugin and then send them back codes if they're, it's a good reverb setting or a bad reverb setting. That's the gist of it. Read these words on this page. Uh, I'll put links in the description uh, to understand what's going on with this. And let me just show you the plugin. There. Well, I'm in Digital Performer and I'm going, I'm using the Live Room G plugin just because I'm going through to have something of an, of an amp like sound. I'm just going through a compressor on the pedal board directly into. The interface for digital and into digital performer. So that's the only other thing, but that sounds that's pretty clean there though. Right? So make on the protoverb. Let's turn it on. You've got your main settings, a lot of presets here. I bet your main settings decay and dry and wet, all that jazz. Uh, that should make sense to you as far as reverb goes, but it's down here at the bottom that it gets really weird. There's there's codes, and they're, they're random, and they want you to choose random numbers, and letters, all of that, with these buttons here. As you change that, it changes the model. And when you find one that you like or you don't like, if you think it's a bad reverb setting, or you think it's a great reverb setting, either way, they want you to click the send the code button there, which will take you to a website and it should fill in automatically with the codes that it had in there. If not, you can paste them in if you double click where the codes were. You can copy that. Um, memory save your preset if you like what you came up with. But then you just fill out a little form to give them some feedback. Uh, and then there's an option at the bottom where you can uh, choose to participate in some sort of prize draw. I don't know what that is. But anyway, that's a cool free plug-in for you there to experiment with. Just be all day, just sit there randomizing stuff. And if you like it, save it. And then you've got, um, you know, nice little decent free reverb there to work with and, and, and to make some, design some sound with. I think it's cool. I think you should try it. That's it for today. See you soon.